hello ladies and welcome back to my channel in today's video we'll be going over attracting a high value man the early stages of dating and keeping him hooked let's dive in now in order to attract a high value man you must first understand the characteristics and qualities of one so that you can spot him out a high value man is one who can share his value with others because he has so much of it to spare this is a man who does not need any validation from any other people. It's a man that commits to himself and others. It's a man that puts forth effort into his woman and handles his business. A high value man has purpose. He is secure and has high self-esteem. And most importantly, he has morals and standards that he sticks by and he always takes responsibility. Being high value does not always pertain to his wallet. It can pertain to his self-conduct, his high status, or his lifestyle. It all depends on what you value most. Someone of this caliber is going to be very vigilant of the people that he chooses to let into his circle. This means that these type of men are not going to be found at the corner liquor store chopping it up with Dusty Tyrone. He's not going to be at the mall trying to pick up women. Because these men are so driven and tenacious, they often don't have time to be lollygagging around and wasting time on meaningless activities. In order to attract a high value man, you must be willing to frequent the areas that he goes. This means switching things up and running your errands on the nicer side of town. Instead of doing your grocery shopping at a Walmart, try going to a Whole Foods. When going to the bank, start going to the branch in the upper class neighborhood rather than going to the one down the street from your house with the people pandering outside. If you are going to a bar or a lounge, go to the ones that are in high-end hotels. This is where the businessmen will be. Or better yet, try the rooftops. These simple adjustments will significantly raise the odds of you attracting a high value man. This is because you are changing your environment, thus changing the type of people that surround you, therefore raising the probability of you attracting what you want. Now, let's take this a step deeper. If you already have a specific type of guy in mind, as far as career and interest, you can niche down a little more. If you are into businessmen with a high skill profession and a high level of knowledge, you're going to have to make yourself seen in the areas that these men frequent. Maybe coffee shops, a mastermind events, universities, and just areas that are known for having these types of people. If you're into military men or police officers, nine times out of 10, you'll find them at a shooting range or in a gym or in cities that contain military bases. If you're into men that are cultured, you will find them at live shows, exhibits, grand openings, and sporting events. And if you're into athletes or people with notoriety, you can try day parties, airports, rooftop events, and sporting events. All right, step number two. Now you're thinking, well, you know, I'm here in these areas. Now, how do I get them to approach me? How do I attract them to me? Now, there are signals that we send subconsciously to men that we are interested in. It ranges from prolonged eye contact, um, body language such as the tilt of your neck, exposing your vulnerability and displaying interest, um, slightly facing in his direction, signaling interest as well, or tossing your hair and setting your body in a position that accentuates your physique. Most of the times, these things are done without us even noticing them. However, if this comes unnatural to you, I highly suggest that you practice these things in a private space with some music. I prefer R&B or something sensual that will help put you in that headspace. Now, men in general are very receptive to these signals and they catch on very quickly. This is because men are hunters by instinct. This is also why so many women who follow my teachings experience multiple suitors approaching them every single time they step out. These signals are the ways that feminine women give men permission to approach them. Now, the reversal of this would be you walking very fast, keeping your eyes low and crossing your arms, similar to how you would move if you saw Dusty Tyrone approaching you at the Chevron gas station. These signals are subtle yet very powerful, so practice them and perfect them. Number three, have quality and substance to yourself. 
You don't have to be a doctor. You don't need to be a rocket scientist. But you do have to have something that you can speak on. Something that you are passionate about. A lady of class and grace without substance is similar to an ornament. Very easy on the eyes, but nothing else. You want to be an experience, an attraction, a live exhibit. I don't care if it's politics, finance, beauty, real estate, cooking. Just have an area of expertise that you can speak on when questioned. There is nothing more cringy than a beautiful woman that appears to have nothing in her brain. This leads me to my sub-point of learning the art of conversation. Just to scratch the surface, the main skills that you should practice and implement are listening more than you speak, not oversharing, and keeping a feminine flow. We've all experienced that feeling of leaving a conversation thinking, wow, that felt so natural, or wow, that person really presented themselves with grace and made me feel in awe. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you so much, Pussy. It's like I'm Thank you for your time and thank you for the love. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Ciao. Oh, that was amazing. Now that is a part of feminine charm and I'll dive deeper into it in another video. Number four, look the part. Men are visual creatures first and foremost and I will stick to this till the day I pass away. If you do not look the part, then you simply will not receive an interview. The reality is that many people judge a book by its cover. It's called the initial attraction. And if you are looking to attract a man, then you should always look your best when stepping out of the house. If you are going to the market, make sure that at least your hair is done and you're not in your pajamas or in your bonnet. If you're going outside for a walk, wear a cute workout set. If you're going to the bank, try wearing a casual dress. The key and secret to femininity is self-evaluation. You never know who you're going to run into, who you're going to meet, so always look presentable. Now ladies, my question to you is, where was the most unexpected place that you met a high value man? Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you're finding it helpful so far. Now let's move into how to get him hooked. These are my three tips on how to get them hooked and keep them there. Number one, as my father always told me, be unavailable at times and have something going for yourself. Men do not value what comes easy to them. They value things that they have to work for. You not always being available says that you have priorities, that you have a life of your own, that you're not the type of person that lets people pop in and out of your life whenever they please. It says that you have boundaries and limitations. Furthermore, having something going for yourself is essential so that you can have something that you can focus on so that you won't become clingy. This is also a play on reverse psychology. This will bring him even closer to you because you are leaving room open for him to pursue, therefore keeping the adrenaline rushing. Now my second tip for keeping him hooked is being the joy in his life. Be the peace, the fun, the excitement. Associate yourself with these positive qualities. Be emotionally stable and do not provoke any conflict. High value men are very busy in general and under a lot of pressure with work, self-improvement, sharpening skills, and upping their social status. As a potential partner, it is important to be associated with positive qualities as opposed to more stress and conflict. For some reason, I noticed that some women try to gain attention through arguments and drama. However, this is detrimental to the bond, especially in the early stages. Instead, focus on having fun, laughing, bonding, and being his relief rather than a headache. And lastly, be feminine. Femininity is the most powerful elixir that you can give a high value man. This energy is soft, it is soothing, it is enticing and sensual. This is something that every masculine man craves. Display this and you will set yourself 100 yards ahead of the pack. High value men are often under a lot of self pressure and your femininity is the exact opposite of what he deals with on the daily. This is your most powerful weapon and is guaranteed to keep him hooked. Thank you for watching ladies and if this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up and as always, stay feminine. Mwah.